our philosophy is, you know, anybody that's looking to retire in the next year or so should have two years worth of non-market correlated assets. That could be bonds, that could be cash, that could be a home equity line of credit, that could be a, a reverse mortgage, it could be CDs, it could be annuities, you know, anything that's non-market correlated. So if the market goes down, you can draw from something that's, you know, not going to go down. If you've got that two-year buffer window, then you should have enough time historically to let the market rebound, and you can leave the rest of your, your money invested. Um, you know, that being said, you know, I agree with you. You know, if there's a vaccine, everything changes for all of us. Um, that's really what we're all waiting for. Um, you know, this is really not a financial crisis. This is a healthcare crisis with financial side effects. So, um, you know, if there's a vaccine, you know, everybody's going to be happier, and, you know, especially in the market as well. Uh, in terms of the election, there's an election every four years. There's no, you know, statistical proof one way or another, you know, that uh, Republicans or Democrats do better in one or the other uh, in the market. So you really shouldn't change your investment strategy depending on who wins one way or another. Um, you know, if Biden wins, you know, maybe there will be some higher taxes, but you know, even if he's proposing higher taxes, it's still going to, you know, be a process. You know, it has to go through and get approved. And then, you know, his plan is going to be modified, you know, in one way or another. And then, you know, if it does go through, it's predominantly going to affect the wealthiest of Americans. And, you know, the wealthiest people are smart people, and they'll, you know, figure out ways to, you know, mitigate those those taxes in some way, or, or shape, or form, or another. But, um, you know, the market doesn't see Democrat or Republican. It doesn't see red or blue. It really sees green. And uh, the market's looking for, you know, expected future corporate earnings, and I expect that will continue over time. And it'll punish the people that try to outsmart that.